It signals a new phase in the war. Russian forces in Ukraine appear to have shifted their focus from a ground offensive aimed at the capital, Kyiv, to prioritizing what Moscow calls the liberation of the Donbas region. The U.S. said Russian forces appear to have halted their ground offensive aimed at capturing the capital, Kyiv, and are concentrating more on gaining control of the Donbas region in the southeast. This shift in military objectives could signal a possible exit strategy for Russia, which has run into fiercer resistance and suffered heavier losses than anticipated. Ukrainian officials say their armed forces are reclaiming territories around the outskirts of Kyiv. We see that they haven't managed to capture any major cities. I just managed to encircle, to besiege some smaller cities in southern and eastern Ukraine. <laughs> For civilians, misery is growing. In the port city Mariupol, witnesses are now reporting that 300 people were killed in that drama theater strike about a week ago, including women and children who had been using it as a shelter. It's the largest known attack on civilians in this war. In Kharkiv, people lined up to collect food and supplies from the Red Cross. It's one slab of cheese for each hungry person in this food line. Residents have been sheltering in cellars, many afraid to travel after more than a dozen were killed Thursday at a shopping center parking lot being used for aid distribution. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said they've evacuated nearly 38,000 people this week from cities blocked by Russian forces, including in Mariupol. President Biden was in Poland praising U.S. troops for their service. You are the finest fighting force in the history of the world. The president and European Union announced a new partnership to reduce dependency on Russian energy. We're coming together to reduce Europe's dependence on Russian energy. Putin has issued Russia's energy resources that to coerce and manipulate its neighbors. The Russian Defense Ministry claimed to have destroyed one of the largest Ukrainian fuel bases located outside Kyiv. Russian President Vladimir Putin accused the West of trying to cancel Russia. The European Commission president said sanctions are hurting the Kremlin deeply. They're running deep into the Russian economy, drying out the resources to finance this war. Zelensky appealed to Russia to negotiate an end to the war, but said Ukraine will not agree to give up any of its territory for the sake of peace. Civilians continue to suffer. Reports say Russian forces have repeatedly attacked Ukrainian medical facilities, striking at hospitals, patients, even at newborns. At least 34 assaults have been independently, independently documented by Associated Press, which is tracking evidence of potential war crimes. President Biden said today 10 million people have been displaced. Sending it back to you.